Hi guys, welcome to another episode of View Storefront webcast. Today I'm gonna show you how to integrate the View Storefront in Magento 1. This is pretty popular topic, a lot of people are asking us how to uh, integrate it with M1 if it's even possible. Yes, it is. Uh, it is from last week because we uh, just published the M1 connector to, to the GitHub. Uh, Right now it has some limited um, limited features. It's limited to synchronize the products, uh, categories, uh, attributes. So basically uh, the read-only uh, version of Magento. We need uh, to add some shopping cart synchronization, order synchronization. Um, we are working on this, so if you are interested, just, uh, just uh, grab us an email and uh, we will discuss how to how can we help you so <clears throat> take a look at our uh, recent repository on github it's called magento dash vs bridge which means as you can imagine magento one uh, view store from bridge uh, basically the integration consists of two modules first is um, magento one module the second one is node application uh, to consume the data from uh, from this Magento 1 module and import the specific entities to, to Elasticsearch, which is our, uh, our backend. You can take a look how it works on demo dash Magento 1. If you store from IO, uh, we have some default uh, Magento data here. So you can browse through the products. You can, of course, configure the products, add them to the cart. Here you see the message that we are not sure about the stock quantity. This is uh, because of, of the reason I already mentioned that we need to have this, uh, this other part like shopping cart integration, stock uh, quantities integration in place to, to get this, uh, this info. <clears throat> the product is the bridge is also open source as a view store from itself, so it's on MIT. You can extend it, you can add this uh, shopping cart orders integration by your own and contribute to the community, no problem with that. Uh, so let's take a look how to install this uh, application and configure your own Magento one to work with view store from. First of all, we need to have Magento 1.9. Uh, I'm using uh, Dockerize Magento. Uh, you can find here on Andreas Koch um, GitHub. Uh, I'm using it for development and, um, and tests. So I have it installed locally. It looks like typical Magento 1.9 with uh, demo content. And what you need to do as a first step is to install the Magento module. So on the GitHub is this this directory. So Magento one module is typical Magento module. So you have to place the um, you have to place these folders inside the app. I already made it. So this is my local Dockerize Magento web app code. Local and here we see that I have a different uh, view storefront bridge installed. The module has just one uh, configuration option. It is placed in the config XML. So opening it is authentication secret. Uh, this should be your own. Um, custom value, you can generate it via PWG, for example, for generating password. So please, uh, so please put here some random string. It's used for um, JWT tokens. We are using JSON web tokens for authorization. So this secret is used for hashing the my user ID that will be passed in, in, the, in the JWT. Okay, so <clears throat> inside the module, uh, you can see that we have our own API. It's pretty basic right now. Uh, 
I decided to go with our own API because of the speed. Magento One's uh, API speed isn't, isn't so great. Um, and also to make it, to keep it simple. Uh, we have just an alt controller that is used for authentication, then some controllers for importing attributes, categories, products, and tax rules. So it's pretty basic. Um, the, the logic is also nothing complicated. So we just return the JSON uh, with, the, with the entities from Magento One after some very easy to understand uh, filter and modification process. Um, so after you copy the Magento module inside your Magento instance, of course you need to, to clean the cache uh, to, to make sure that it's installed. And then you can use, for example, Postman to check if the, if the module works or works just fine. So Dockerize Magento to the local is more based address of Magento. And then you have VS Bridge, Out, Admin. And you send here like JSON object and my credentials are pretty, like defaults from Dockerize Magento. So I can send it and check if I get the, the token in, in the reply. Okay, seems like working good. If I put here some wrong password, I should get some error. Okay. So then uh, you are to use the second part of the integration. Here is my Magento One VS Bridge folder, and Magento One module, okay, and the second part is node app. So I switch the directory to it, node app. Okay, so here you have this uh, node app folder and the config file. The default config file is named like config example JSON. And what you need to do is like to copy the config example JSON to config JSON uh, and then edit the, the right config data. So let's see what's inside nano config. Oh, sorry, JSON. Okay, so first of all, we have the Elasticsearch index name. It can be like what you want. It's, in my case is view store from Magento One, it can be view store from catalog and so on. Then you have the access data to the VS bridge, so the module you, you just installed. So here is my Magento base URL. Then you have um, uh, APK, which is not used, so you can just skip it, uh, and authorization. Uh, admin password one two three are the data I also use for tests here in uh, in Postman. Basically, you need to have one administ ad administrator uh, account just to be used with this uh, VS Bridge. Uh, its um, credentials uh, need to be stored here in the config. Then you should um, should apply the minimum. ACL, like the minimum control list for, for the permissions, uh, only catalog for, for this uh, admin. And the API will use it to authorize the request and generate the, the tokens. Then you have the, the endpoints. Uh, what you need to change here is just to change the base address of Magento to your own um, address or Dockerize Magento if you are using the same uh, Docker instance as, as I did. And that's all. So you save it and you are ready to go. Um, okay, so first step uh, you need to do after doing the config is to create uh, the Elasticsearch data store. We have a pretty straightforward command for this. So you just type node index.js new. And this command is uh, in charge of creating the new Elasticsearch index. Uh, we are using versioning here. So 
the real name of the index is like the given in counting, like view uh, store from Magento 1, and then underscore the version. So we can check it in some Elasticsearch tool I'm using. Mm, Elasticsearch plugin for Chrome, so you can see that we have view storefront, Magento 1, and the version, the version is 2, so we have Magento 1 and 2. So to go means you go to source, and here you have some index.js, and you can go through the importers, importing all the required entities. So first of all, you go with node um, index.js, let's say attributes. First step is authorization. So the node is authorizing the, uh, the user credentials it went fine, so we are getting the, uh, the data. Okay, the page has been done. Let's use uh, paging for better uh, performance. So that's all. The second step is to import the tax rules. take some time because it's a magenta API. Then where do you go with categories? have some quite few categories here so it takes some time Not so bad and of course products there are some like 600 products in the default uh, magento the database so it will take a while Dobra, Tomek, teraz jeszcze jedna sprawa. Zapomniałem o pierwszym kroku importu. Teraz go nagram, a Ty go wstawisz y, dokładnie przed tymi importami, które dopiero co były nagrane, czyli przed importem atrybutów, kategorii i innych. You have all the steps completed. You just uh, do another command, which is node index.js publish. And this command um, is doing quite opposite uh, thing. So it's creating a view store from alias um, with the name given in the config, pointing to your version um, index. So this way you can create few version of Elasticsearch and just publish the one you want to have on production. I didn't have the original alias, so now I know the new one is created, which means that, as you can see, the view store from Magento 1 is connected to the right view, uh, elastic search index. The last thing you need to do is to open your view store from uh, project itself, not the bridge, but you know, the local repository of this storefront. So 
I have it somewhere in here. View store from picker of this my GitHub name. <coughs> and then oh I opened the wrong directory, sorry. So I opened my local copy. And what I need to change here is just the Elasticsearch index name. So it's in local JSON and it's here. So you change it to Magento store, view store from story, Magento one. Then you need to change it in one more place in view store from API. So you go to view store from API, local copy, and then change in local json config the same so view store from Magento. after these changes you just need to restart the view store from the api and view store from itself to make the, the changes um, to work and yeah it should it should just display the right uh, the right right content one more thing on images. Um, in view storefront, we are using the images endpoint pointing to view storefront API's uh, AMG uh, endpoint, which is using the imageable Node.js library for making the correct size thumbnails for um, Magento images. And we need to configure it here as well. So you need to set up. Um, yeah, Magento 2 EMG URL, this is misguiding, but okay, sometimes we will correct this. So Magento 2 EMG URL, you put here um, Magento base uh, address for URLs. In my case is, uh, I believe it's Dockerized Magento local. Uh, let me check it. So it's Dockerized Magento. Like web media product, oh, sorry, catalog product. So it's like media catalog product. And then you need to add some Dockerized Magento to the whitelist here. So, in your case, it will be a different address, of course be with right, something like this for some domain support and that's all you need to restart the API and you should have the images displayed correctly okay thank you that's all see you soon in the next episode bye bye